The day I heard languages were dying, I wondered what else was being killed. Millions of words mutilated, thousands of songs unsung, hundreds of stories untold. Which language, I pondered, would answer this? How long would it take for humanity to be human? The day I heard languages were dying, I didn't feel so alive myself. Yeah, now he's slide out, okay. <laughs> More and more information is being made available on the web. So our goal really has been to develop Microsoft Translator Hub in such a way that it would be web accessible from anywhere in the world. This empowers communities and organizations that want to build custom translation models to really take control of it, to create, improve, even deploy the system without a translator service getting in the way. You know, this sense of empowerment allows under-resourced communities in particular to preserve their language and their community and culture for generations to come. So as Microsoft looks to provide support and services to governments and countries all over the world, we have to embrace and respect the local communities to create cultural opportunities, economic opportunities, uh, and opportunities for individuals to communicate uh, within their communities and communities all over the world in their language uh, with their culture and history preserved. And Microsoft Translator Hub enables that opportunity for governments, for communities, and for citizens all over the world. What we did is we ran a couple of workshops. And we did this in order to reach out specifically to, to language communities. One of them was with the Hmong in Fresno, and the other one was actually at Kathmandu University with the Nepali language. The Nepalese students that we interacted with at Kathmandu well, many of them weren't even uh, fluent in their own language, which was very surprising to discover, that they were more fluent in English than they were in their own native language. I personally don't speak in Nepali fluently, and the project Microsoft Translator Hub is helping me improve my fluency, and I think it will also help in preserving the Nepali language. The elders inside of the Hmong community were watching their culture slip away, one elder at a time. If we don't do anything about it, the culture and the language of the Hmong is going to disappear in this country. But with projects such as this, it's going to be one of the very important steps that we can take to stop this from happening. The project is very important to Hmong. First of all, well, there are many reasons. Uh, one of them, of course, that comes to my mind is that the language itself, the written language itself, is less than 60 years old. So that makes it very uh, difficult for, for the Hmong people to, uh, to actually preserve any type of uh, culture or any type of uh, uh, written language. So the project uh, not only allows the non-speakers of English to be able to access information that are, uh, that are in English, uh, but also it allows them, the speakers to uh, now network across countries. This machine translation project, which will work on the Nepali English sphere, will help us share our culture, local tradition and rituals to the rest of the world. How do we do more, preserve more languages and more cultures as we go forward? Today it's Nepali and Hmong, Tomorrow, it's the world.